Hi, I'm Dr. Kimberly Bell. I'm a doctor of physical therapy, and I specialize in working with people with dizziness, vertigo, imbalance, and unexplained repeated falls. Today we're going to answer a frequently asked question that I hear from a lot of people, which is, what is the most common vestibular disorder? And the answer is BPPV, benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. Now, people over 70 years old complain to the physician, that's their number one complaint to their doctor, is dizziness. And about 45 to 50 percent of the time, dizziness has an inner ear component or a vestibular component. The most common vestibular cause of vertigo or dizziness is this BPPV. What that stands for is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. Benign means it's not related to any disease or pathology. In fact, it's just a little crystal rolling around inside the ear, out of place. Paroxysmal means that the symptoms come and go. They're not constant. Positional means that it varies based on the position of your head. And vertigo is any false sense of motion, spinning, tilting, or moving through space when you're actually standing still or a false perception of otherwise normal motion. So that's benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. So benign paroxysmal positional vertigo is actually just a crystal that's out of place in the inner ear. This little crystal is supposed to be in the inner ear. It helps us with our balance, but when it gets out of place and it floats down into a circular canal where it's not supposed to be, that's when we get this false sense of vertigo. So for people with this condition, 30 to 40% of the time, it resolves on its own. That leaves about 60 to 70% of people who have BPPV that will continue to suffer with it for the rest of their life until somebody identifies it and treats it for them. Symptoms of having BPPV can include dizziness and vertigo in certain positions, balance problems, walking problems, fear of falling. There's also a cognitive component where people say they feel foggy in their brain, they have mental disorganization, difficulty with what's called cognitive stamina or concentration, difficult making, difficulty making decisions, and problems with executive function. So high level thinking processes are affected. These cognitive symptoms can go away immediately in some cases when the vertigo is cleared. And if this condition is properly assessed and treated by a skilled provider, it resolves in one treatment 85 to 90 percent of the time. So now you can see why the urgency that I feel to bring this information to you so that if you are someone who's suffering with dizziness, vertigo, imbalance, or unexplained repeated falls, you know you don't have to live like that. The average person with BPPV sees between four and five different physicians and spends an average of $2,000 before they arrive at a diagnosis. That doesn't even include treatment. So a lot of times people with BPPV undergo unnecessary diagnostic testing and take long-term medications that they don't even really necessarily need if they were to see an appropriate provider that could fix their condition. So who gets BPPV? Who might experience this? Well, I find it a lot in my older patients who are having unexplained repeated falls just due to normal aging. The little membrane that that crystal is supposed to be on ages and those crystals are more easy to come off with the aging process. So it can just be related to normal aging spontaneously occurring and peaking in the 50s and 60s of life. Now, People in their 50s and 60s have the highest rate of this condition, and of them, women have it about 6.8 to 1 times more than men. So about seven women for every one man gets this condition. So I would say perimenopausal women get this very often. Also, anybody over 65 is recommended to be screened for this condition due to normal aging. Other people who might have BPPV include athletes who have concussion injuries, people who have been in car accidents or hit their head, people that have been the victim of any kind of abuse or domestic violence where they've had a head injury, and especially veterans coming back from Iraq that have experienced roadside bomb blast injuries because that 
that energy of the blast can shake loose the crystal in their inner ear. So what I recommend if you or anyone you know are suffering with unexplained dizziness, vertigo, imbalance, or unexplained repeated falls, to seek out a vestibular specialist through the Vestibular Disorders Association website, vestibular.org, and you can find somebody just like me in your area who can evaluate your inner ear and hopefully resolve, if not just reduce, your symptoms. I also do phone consultations with people across the country to help you at least get a plan together of which healthcare providers to seek in your area. Please let me know some more of your frequently asked questions at betterbalanceinlife.com. I look forward to responding to you through my blog and through future videos.